This is my review of a keychain pepper spray from Sabre. Here's the model number in the bottom left corner. It has this quick release key ring that allows the user to separate the pepper spray from keys or a backpack quickly. It has UV dye, which is neat for identifying somebody who ran away after getting hit with pepper spray up to 25 bursts. I think it could possibly do that with some very short sprays. I think that the burst idea is not very helpful because in a panicky situation, we're not going to just have the wherewithal to do that. We're going to hold that thing down and just spray away. So let me roll in the footage of me doing that. So like you saw, it's a good spray. It um, has a pretty good range of, uh, I think, about 10 feet, which is what we would expect from a pepper spray of this size. Uh, actually, the safety is off right now. It should be on. Now the safety's back on. Safety is easy to actuate. Let's try out the key ring. You just, there's the button. There it goes, easy to use, easy to put back. Would I use this as my everyday carry pepper spray? I might. I think this is one of the best keychain pepper sprays out there. It's comfortable, it has a it's got a pretty good size to it, so that's useful for having a longer range and for bucking wind. So this is has a pretty good amount of compression in here. I think it's large enough. I don't know if I would actually use this because I like bigger pepper spray canisters, ones that have more like an 18 foot range and that have a bigger spray pattern. Uh, I'm okay with the inconvenience of a larger can if it gives me more, uh, more standoff capability and a more effective tool for self-defense. I reviewed more than 20 pepper sprays. Check out that video to see other good pepper spray options. And I also show pepper spray options that I wouldn't use, bad pepper sprays that I think are bad buys, and that I would not trust my life or self-defense needs with. So check out that video. It's a good idea.